Today, we're breaking down what the Chicago Bears need in order to get a fourth round pick from the Justin Fields trade. As Chicago Bears fans, we should all be rooting for Justin to continue doing well in Pittsburgh. Today, I wanted to update what we need from Justin in order to receive that fourth round pick in next year's draft. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The most common question asked that I wanted to clear up is exactly how many games Justin needs to start. There is no exact number of games. He has to play 51% of the Steelers' total regular season starts. Now, I've looked at a ton of data, and most teams with the Steelers' emphasis usually finish the season with between 1,100 and 1,300 total snaps on offense, which would mean Justin would need to get well over 600-plus snaps before I felt comfortable that he would hit the 50% threshold. On average, nine full starts should do it, but teams play a different number of snaps each game. As of right now, Justin has played 100% of the Steelers' snaps on offense. He has 396 total snaps and six starts. The Steelers also won this week, and Fields rushed for two touchdowns, leading them to a 4-2 and two record. Hopefully that is enough to get him his seventh start of the season, but we're still a few games away from him hitting 650 snaps. So far, so good, but I think he needs a minimum of about 650 to 700, and he's about 254 away from 650 right now. But as long as the Steelers can continue winning games, he has a chance to keep starting. The biggest worry right now is Russell Wilson, who has been unhealthy to start the season. He's finally close to 100%, and he actually served as Justin's backup for the first time this year last week. Meaning if Justin gets hurt or has a stretch of bad plays and gets benched, Russell Wilson would get a chance to lead the offense. I honestly think Justin is better suited for that Steelers roster, but Russ definitely has had more success in the NFL. If he got that starting job back and played well, Justin could finish below the snaps needed to get us that fourth round pick. Also, the Steelers aren't dumb. They know how many snaps Justin needs to, con to convert that sixth round pick to a fourth rounder. If he gives them any reason to see what Russ has, they're going to take it. If that happens, we would need to root for Russ to struggle and Justin to get the job back. I will say the Steelers' offensive line is not very good, and Russ definitely doesn't have the escapability that Justin offers. But this is something I will continue to monitor the rest of the season. We should all want that fourth round pick. A sixth round pick in the NFL is most likely to end up being a backup or a special teams player. But a fourth round pick in the draft, teams often find valuable starters. The Bears have found players like Eddie Jackson, Tariq Cohen, Nathan Vasher, Henry Melton, Roberto Garza, Tyler Scott, Roshan Johnson, Tory Taylor, Terrell Smith, and so many others. But just in the NFL in general, the fourth round is popular for finding sleepers in the draft. Guys like Dak Prescott, Brandon Marshall, Jared Allen. Asante Samuel and even Kirk Cousins were all fourth round picks. Even in just the last two drafts though, there have been a lot of very good players that fell to the fourth round. You might have heard of some of the starting tight ends in the NFL, like Tampa Bay's Kate Otten, Cowboys' Jake Ferguson, or the Ravens' Isaiah Likely, all taken in the fourth round. But then other players, like Bengals' starting running back Chase Brown, Packers' receivers Romeo Dobbs and Dontavian Wicks, Rams starting running back Kyron Williams, Bills top receiver Khalil Shakir, and so many other talented players around the NFL. Every single year, teams find starters in the fourth round, but in round six, not so much. It's much more rare to find a starting caliber player in round six of the draft, but it's something that happens almost every year in round four. So getting a fourth round pick from that Justin Fields trade versus getting a six rounder is a big deal. Bears fans should all be rooting for Fields to get 700 or more snaps and get us that fourth round pick. We already have four picks in the first three rounds next year, thanks to the Carolina Panthers second rounder. So another thing we are rooting for is for the Panthers to keep losing to make that pick more valuable. 
but we currently do not have a fourth round pick next year. We traded that this year to get Austin Booker. That would change if Justin can play more than 50% of the snaps for the Steelers. I would love to have that fourth round pick. If you feel the same way, hit that like button for me. I appreciate everyone who watches. Stay tuned. I have a ton more content on the way. And until next time, bear down.